Look at this big shadow here, you can't see my eyes. You know what? That's gone. Hashtag bring back the bandana. Subscriber asked for this recently, so I think we're just going to bring it back. So welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today we've got something just a little bit different. I mean, let's see if I can do this one-handed. If I open up the back of the Land Rover, you're going to see the amount of kit I've got in here. Uh, it's not because I'm filming one huge video, it's because I'm planning on filming a couple of videos while this sun's out. Um, sorry I've been absent for the last few weeks. Uh, a few family issues that I'm not really going to divulge on, on video. Um, but yeah, you can see all this uh, loadout I've got in here today. I've got everything from a few guns I want to show off, uh, a new piece of kit that's been sent to me by a company Woo -woo! Um, that we're going to be um, getting out the box and reviewing today and showing you uh, what to expect from them. Uh, quite um, a good company, good ethics, which is, um, which is what we like. Um, but yeah, I'll get that out and show it you a little bit later on. But first off, I'm going to set the camera down, start unloading all this onto this little bit of grass I've got here. Uh, so here in my Osprey bag, I have uh, quite a lot of just camping bits, really. Um, knives, saws, axes, etc, etc. So that's the first thing I'm going to throw out onto the floor. Camera equipment. Something uh, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers don't show. Camera equipment. I've got a bag here. Uh, of all battery chargers, lenses, etc, etc. Um, everything I need just to, just to make these videos, really. Here I have some food and brew making kit that I'm going to be using today. I've just thrown it in a carrier bag. I've not really... Uh, my, I've hurt my back, basically. And my intentions were never to carry it into the woods that's just over there. Um, my intentions were always to do it quite close to the car. Because, uh, yeah, I'm in a little bit of pain just here. So carrying stuff any great distance is just going to aggravate it. Uh, this is uh, fire starting kits, fat wood uh, and a few other bits. I've got a whole bag full uh, fire lighters etc that I just brought to sort out off camera. Um, do a bit of whittling and things, things I can't do in my living room really because it'll just make a horrible mess. But I've brought that here just to do off camera. Uh, not going to be doing much of a much of a video on that unless you guys want to see that. I mean if you want to see that in the future just leave a, descript uh, leave a comment in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's something I can make happen. Whittling some some fat wooden things. We have a few bits that I might just incorporate into one long video to save you waiting three weeks for three videos. I mean again comment below if you'd like to see like little separate videos um, yeah leave me leave me a comment below if you like to see one big long video and sit down on a Friday night with your takeaway or whatever the case may be you know let me know um, and I'll, I'll put it all together I'll make it happen but my intention today was to make a few few little videos uh, I've got a few guns with me and I was gonna make a, a bit of a shooting and a bit of a gun video and I know um, YouTube frowns on things like that and demonetizes it, but I'm not monetized anyway at the moment, so I really don't care. Um, but yeah, I brought a few guns to show off and explain about the UK laws, so uh, I don't know whether I'm going to put it in a separate video or in the same video, but these are all the bits coming out now. In here, I've got some shotgun cartridges or shells if you're American. Bit of firewood, nothing special, just some old split pellets. Here, I have a, a semi automatic, obviously, you can't see it, I have a bag, uh, and in the bag, is a semi-automatic 2.2 rimfire rifle that you do need a license for and I do have a license. In this gun bag is a generic, um, it's not a generic at all, it's actually a customised uh, Theoburn Rapid. Uh, I didn't mess it up this time, it is actually a Theoburn Rapid, not a Theoburn Femmen. Uh, I'll put a link up here somewhere for the video that I messed up, the, the, the actual brand and make of my gun. And in bag number three I have uh, a shotgun, just a UK um, shotgun certificate shotgun, nothing special, no frills. This is a stool and you use it for sitting on, which I will be sitting over here soon. And this is primarily what we're out here for and what's kind of pushed me to make this video. It's still in the box, I've not opened it. It's there, there's the tape, there's the, the straps, I don't know what they're called, but there's the straps and it's not been opened on any end because uh, one of the stipulations was I was going to open it on video which I've got no problem doing. And here are some accessories that came with said item. And in my ammo box, just there, I've never said this before, but in my ammo box, I've got a recovery kit. I've got uh, cooking facilities. I've got uh, a Polish Lavu, which is, it's, it's basically two ponchos buttoned together that you can make a shelter out of. I carry all that stuff with me on a daily basis. Uh, there's also a shovel so I can bury stuff or dig for stuff. There's, a, there's an old rickety axe um, that I got off my uncle. 
um, that lives in there for splitting wood um, should I ever need to, to, to fall back on the vehicle I mean it's not you know I can't live in the vehicle but at least I could make my life a little bit more comfortable if I had to bug out and you know something happened and, and, and I had to go and live in the woods for a couple of days I'm, I'm quite confident with what I've got in the car apart from food um, I, I could quite comfortably do it and I've realized I'm cutting off the top of my head here very sorry but I'll continue here okay just off camera I've just pulled this out this is a, a, a couple of tarps actually that I got off uh, my extended family uh, Gordon from Bug Out North Wales let me have this quite a long time ago um, basically my plan is I got these off eBay the other day I'll just give you a quick look see they're basically bungees that have got little carabiners attached to them just there so my plan is just to quickly carabine it, it to the roof rack of the car and into a couple of these either gate posts or the barbed wire fence or something um, and just crack on with that I'm gonna leave the camera roll in and out I'll, I'll speed it up or something or I might even cut it just make it a little bit shorter because it'll be a bit boring watching me put this up but uh, yeah that's basically how I'm gonna do it real quick real simple um, I don't know where in the world you live and if you've got an Aldi but Aldi have these on at the moment I think they're about four quid um, so I went and bought a couple uh, and the beauty of these is is um, the, the, the little I don't know if you can see those little white flecks just there I don't know if the camera's going to pick them up but they have little reflective flecks in them so at night time if you're wearing a head torch and you're heading back to your shelter after a couple of jars um, you'll get reflection off it so you can see exactly where your guy ropes are and exactly where your shelter is which is really really good I have some that I always carry in the back of the Land Rover that's strung up on the side black ones these are red ones I thought I'd go a little bit different and get the red ones but yeah enough natter I'll quickly get this up one I'll just fold that corner in and I'll show you around what we've made so somebody recently put on one of the Facebook groups what is a one bit of kit you could, can't do without in your kit mine's my car I think I put that on there as well mine's got to be my Land Rover without my Land Rover this would have just taken so much longer it's a bit rudimental and a bit rough but it's going to serve its purpose today all I've used, as I showed just before, let me try and whip the camera around and show you quickly. All I've used is these things, and they're attached to a bungee, and I've gone up to the barbed wire fence and looped it on itself so it can't fling off and blind anybody. And I've done the same up on, I hope you can see that, because I'm holding the camera way high. Uh, I've done that same over there, and at the back end, I've just lashed it to the front towing hitch on my Land Rover, which is just down here. It's just to create a little bit of a space, really. And uh, it'll enable me to show you a little bit better without the sun uh, blinding us all. And I can crack on and get some stuff done. Uh, I, I reached out to a company called EcoZoom after seeing uh, one of their products for sale on one of the Facebook groups. Uh, it seemed very interesting to me uh, and I, I wanted to learn more about the product. So I reached out to them, they didn't reach out to me. It's not like a sponsorship, they're not paying me to make this video. They did, however, send me this item for free, um, just to use on the channel and show to you guys and give you my initial thoughts. So, uh, yeah, basically I started researching about EcoZoom and I found out that um, they're based out in Kenya um, and they make um, living solutions for um, poor families over in Africa and Kenya and, and countries like that. Uh, this is a, a cooking solution uh, for us preppers. Now uh, I'll get it out of the box and I'll show you what it is. I'll show you what these uh, additional accessories are. I just laid them to the side for now. Um, I've got my trusty cooking knife on me because it's the only one I've brought. Uh, I'll quickly, and don't worry, I'll be taking all my rubbish out with me. There'll be nothing staying. Um, so although I might throw it to the side now, I will clear up and I'll show you a picture at the end. 
Um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of agreed to do uh, a bit of an unboxing, show you what comes in the box and, and just tell you a little bit about it. Now I'm not an expert on these, um, but if you leave a comment or a question in the description below, I'll make sure the rep in the UK is watching the video and he can answer it um, probably a lot better than me. So Stuart, if you are about, I'm hoping you're going to be watching this. Solutions. This is one of the three rocket stoves they currently have available on their lineup. Uh, this is the EcoZoom Versa. Um, and yeah, I'm going to kind of try it out, give you my honest thoughts. As I say, they're not paying me to say anything nice. So I'm not going to say anything nice. If it works, you'll know it works. If it doesn't work, you'll know it doesn't work. Now, right off the bat, in the boxes, it's quite a heavy unit. I'd say probably seven, eight kilos. I've not looked at a fact sheet, so please don't pick me up on these. But yeah, this is how it came to me. All this was wrapped in cling film or stretch wrap um, together and it, and it came out to me like this. A box within a box, which is good because then I can chuck my rubbish in here. I don't think there's anything in there apart from some polystyrene uh, and some protective cardboard. So all my rubbish, that is now, that is now the bush bin. Uh, and it comes in another box, still heavy. So it's not good for backpackers right off the bat. Unless there's a few of you and you can swap who's carrying this, who draws a short straw, it's not good for backpackers. But if you're doing what I'm doing, you know, if you've got a canoe, if you've got a vehicle, if you've got anything like that, you know, uh, now I'll show you what that is in a minute. But this is basically what it looks like. First time I've taken it out of the box. It's got some instructions in there. And that's more rubbish. So it's good right off the bat, you've got stuff to light your fire with, they thought of everything, they're very good. That's the box, it lives over there, we're not interested in the box. Let me get my tree stump. There's my tree stump. You don't get this with it unfortunately, but I'm sure you can source your own tree stump. Right, so how it works is this will live here, obviously I'm not on flat ground and I'm on a, I'm on a tree stump so it's not going to work perfect at the moment. This is your airflow door just here, this is what you open up to gain your airflow. It sucks in air through the bottom, it comes up through the grate, which is in there. Hopefully you can see the grate at the bottom of there. And it burns. Now, the thing I've read and I've researched on is this burns very, very efficiently. After it's initially, initially lit, uh, it won't give off very much smoke. So if you're using it for um, bug out purposes or, you know, survival purposes, it's not going to give away where you are. But yeah, this goes there like that and you put your quite long sticks or logs or whatever, I'll show you in a minute when I fire it up, and you feed them in slowly. Um, it sucks in the air through the bottom door, burns very efficiently, and the flames come up through the top. Everything's set up as I'm going to be lighting it. Uh, there are a few twigs and sticks knocking about in my general area just here uh, that I will be using once I've fired it up, but for now I'm going to fire it up with some just dried, dried wood that I've brought from home. I'm quickly going to make some kindling. Chuck a fire lighter in it, light it with a lighter, there's no messing about today. Uh, I'm here just, just for purely for speed. Um, obviously you could light it with cotton wool and a ferro rod or, or whatever method you want to light it with. But I'm just going to use a fire lighter, get it in there, get some kindling on top and get it fired up. Do all that on camera quickly for you right now. Uh, I, may, I may just cut out the, um, the making of the kindling because I don't think, I think you all know how I make kindling. It's usually quite badly. Uh, the thing I forgot to mention about the, the EcoZoom products is they'll burn any biofuel. Uh, I did actually buy some charcoal and I thought about bringing some charcoal and cooking a stew, but I think it would have been overkill and I would have been trying to film just way too much in my first video, which is just basically an introduction of the product. Standard lighter, pound from the local shop, no messing about. Ow. Set my hands down on a nettle again. Fire lighters, I don't know the brand or the type. I got them like this. Do you know what? I'm just going to use one. Yeah, it went out. You know what? Let's do it this way.
so as I mentioned before it will smoke a little bit when it's firing up but once it's fired up and it's got up to temperature it should not smoke at all That's it going straight away. So you can probably see on the footage right now that it's going very, very nicely. Uh, the other bit they sent me, which I said I was going to show you a little bit later on, is called a power ring. And how this actually works is it saves more fuel. It goes over the top of the Versa, and this heat that's escape, escaping from around the sides basically it, uh, it, it channels in and it channels onto your pot just so it cooks a little bit more efficient. Where's my bin? And how it works is you have a, a nut on the back, you loosen that, you slide it over the top tighten it in again, first time I've ever used this so sorry if I look a bit dithery be an issue because the handle on my pot is sticking out. But in a nutshell if I didn't have the handle on the pot I'd be able to slide it down a little bit better and channel all the heat around the pan. As it happens I'm not going to use that today. That's going to be a Dutch oven video in the future but thank you EcoZoom Global and EcoZoom UK for sending me that that will come in handy and we will show how that works in a future video. Um, the other bit they sent me was the bag to store it all in. It comes in a very lovely, can be stored in a very lovely bag like this. So literally guys, five minutes have gone by. I've put on those original sticks and all I've done is I've added another one stick from just over there. Um, and already it's starting to boil. I'm not going to stick my finger in there and test the heat, but it's looking hot already. Uh, yeah, we've, we've got the starts of a, of a quick boil in five minutes. So I reckon eight to nine minutes, I mean, you've got, you've got some piping hot boiling water, which is obviously, oh, I shouldn't really do that, which is obviously um, all you need to make the water safe, as well as a filter. Obviously, I'd always recommend running it for a filter and boiling it. And I'm going from there. But as you can see, look at the flames coming up there. And it's all direct in, in the centre of that little pan. And if I move the pan out of the way, let's see if I can do this without melting my camera. Have a look at that. Because obviously you have the, the internal chimney, which you just saw then, where the flames are coming up. And then you've got the outer wall. And between that space, I think they've insulated it with clay. So it's a very, very efficient stove. Oh my, right, so literally 12 minutes I think it's been, 12 minutes and it has been boiling for about a minute while I've just been pouring milk in my, in my cup and whatnot, just there. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this coffee guys. So that comes off there, as you can see, that is burning like a good and that handle's really hot so I'm going to hurry up and get that in there. I hope that can see what I'm doing there. And that's my coffee ready. Let's just show you that again. It needs a good shake because obviously all the coffee's on the bottom. It needs dissolving. I'll get that on there and give it a good shake and that's my first coffee of the day. Right, I'm gonna feed a few, something you do have to remember. You have to remember to keep pushing these in. It burns so quick. Um, I'm sure if you had a hardwood or something it would burn a lot more efficient and a little bit more slow but it burns so quick that pallet wood is going down really really fast so you just have to keep remembering to push it in so that flame comes but I suppose you could use that to control your flame so if you've got four or five sticks in keep a couple out it'll give you a lower flame than if you push them all in but uh, yeah so far very very impressed with that that was really really quick I'm gonna shake my coffee and I'm gonna get a frying pan on to cook some breakfast as well you can see I've been touching that for a few seconds now and it's not burning my hands just goes to show how well insulated it is anyway let's crack on with some food
Uh, Tamarack Outdoors, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm a big advocate of theirs. It's an outdoor shop quite near where I live in Lancashire. Uh, Tamarack Outdoors. I'll put a link in the description below. But somebody was looking for a frying pan recently, a lightweight with a handle. Uh, and these are made by Trangia, who also make the stoves. Uh, I've not used it yet. I bought it for my lightweight kit. But today will be his first... Uh, it's first outing as it were, but it's Teflon coated, very lightweight, foldable handle that folds inside it. Uh, works a treat. Well, it's going to work a treat, but it, it's very backpackable, you know what I'm trying to say. So, frying pan is on, we'll keep feeding them sticks in, making sure they're not going to burn down. Get some heat on that frying pan. Of course, safety first, use a stick to poke the sticks in with. Don't use your fingers because it's bloody hot in there. <laughs> I'm going to do an Uncle Hazel style shout out. Shout out to Scrambled O. Scrambled O over in America. Look at that bacon boy. Look at the thickness. Straight in the frying pan. Sizzle, sizzle. Do you know, I forgot to bring a spatula again for my egg. How bad am I at remembering to bring stuff? Somebody commented in my last video, I like that you show all your mistakes. I don't like making the mistakes, they just happen. I keep forgetting stuff. Because it's when it's video day, I get so excited and eager to leave the house and start recording. I just try to pack everything I think I'll need, but always forget, inevitably forget something. Um, let me think on how I'm going to quickly make an egg. Maybe a scrambled egg. We'll scrambled egg it, so I won't need a spatula to take the egg out whole. Always options. I was actually looking at a... Uh, little little portable plastic spatulas. I'm going to try and find some on, e on eBay tonight and get some ordered. Is this camera still recording? This camera still recording, so you'll be able to see that bacon cooking. I'll put a little window underneath the main window and you can see the bacon cooking. I'll quickly flip it over for you. I'll tell you what, I've used very little wood. I've not got any more wood than what you saw earlier on in the video. I mean, flashback, take it back a few minutes to what you saw, the little pile of wood. And that's all I've used. And I've made myself my water and I'm now cooking breakfast on it. It's ridiculously, ridiculously efficient. And here I go again, pushing the wood in. You have to keep doing this. If you don't, your flames will die down. But as long as you remember just to push them in, Every few minutes, you're absolutely fine. Ah, I'll tell you what I have to remember to bring this time. A plate of sorts. Ta-da! So I kind of remembered most of the stuff, just not all of the stuff. Yeah, that's bake. that bacon's cooked already, how quick was that? So, bacon off, let's get a little chucky egg. Probably not going to be the best way of doing it to be honest, but Needs must. Should I be using the stick? Probably not. Do I care? No. Will it get thumbs down? Probably. Do I care? Still no. I'm 
pulling that duns out. Obviously, guys, to control the flame on, on, the, uh, on the Versa, you just close that bottom door. I have got it wide open at the moment, so it's burning like a good one, so it's burning really quick. But if I wanted to slow it down, I mean, if you just reach under here, I'll shut that door a little bit. And obviously, that will restrict the airflow a little bit more, and it should slow down burning now. Um, right, just going to make my sandwich. You can watch if you want. Close your eyes if you don't want to watch. I'll keep the camera recorded. I'll move this camera over to here as well. This is this is just a no frills, quick, easy, no messing about sandwich. I'm going to use my fingers. Scrambled egg with some bacon juices in there. And that's the frying pan just there. I'll take it home and wash it. I've not brought a washing kit. And that's my sandwich done. Right, I'll quickly stop this camera and I'll continue on that camera just over there. Again, now I've just stoked it up. It is a little bit hotter on the left hand side again. I don't know why it's all on the left, but it is. But you can touch the sides and warm your hands. So uh, safe around children, safe around pets really, unless they stand there leaning up against it, they're not really going to get hurt. So initial pros and cons of this thing are very, very good. I mean pros, heats up, cooks very, very quick. I mean, I've tried to keep it all on video. Fires up, easy to use. Cons, heavy. It's heavy, you couldn't use it for backpacking, but they've never marketed it. It's not for backpackers. Um, never has been. Um, if you've got like a little um, what's the word I'm looking for? Base, base somewhere where you've built a, a, a bug out shelter or you've got a tent in the woods that you keep going back to. This would be an ideal, brilliant solution for you. Um, I wouldn't use it indoors. Obviously, I've said it doesn't give off too much smoke. It doesn't. I mean, you can see there it's not giving off too much smoke and I've just stoked it up. But I wouldn't use it in a, in a bell tent or anything like that because obviously carbon monoxide, the silent killer and all that. If you are going to use it somewhere inside, um, make sure you've got a carbon monoxide detector. But uh, yeah, I am very, very impressed. Initial thoughts. Uh, it runs lovely. Very low maintenance. It's burning so hot. There's, there's barely any ash in the bottom of there. Uh, not much has happened since you've been gone. You've been gone about an hour now. I finished my sandwich, finished my coffee. I, I spoke to some locals who walk their dogs on this land. Um, and then I came back to check on the verse and it's all but burnt out. Now I did have full intention to do a few more videos today, I was going to fire some guns and did, did have a little bit of a, a conversation with the camera about the UK laws and stuff, but I think we're going to save that um, for another video. Uh, I'm going to let this burn down, it's all but done. If I shine you down there, it's just smouldering away at the bottom there. I'll crack open the, the bottom door and I'll empty all the ashes out and douse them with water etc. Uh, make sure it's safe and packed down. Um, the reason I didn't make more videos is I started cleaning the back of the Land Rover. It was an absolute tip in the back. Just stuff I've bought and stuff that's accumulated in the back. So I started ripping it all out and getting it in order. Um, the good news is uh, I've spoke to the farmer about camping on this land and he's given me authorization. So Easter Bank holiday weekend, I'm going to be doing a camp out on here. I will be in the trailer. Uh, I'll fetch it down and I'll, I'll probably be doing a couple of alterations to it. Uh, I only live a few miles away from here and the trailer's only parked a few miles away from here. So it just seems to work in my mind. I'll, I'll, I'll make the alterations as I'm kind of living in it for the, for the weekend. Um, so, so yeah, uh, anything to do with the EcoZoom Versa, where to buy it, uh, a few more adverts, um, a few more YouTube videos. I'll leave links in the description below. Um, I'm not the first person to review it or use it, but I do think I'm the first person in the UK to um, review it, on YouTube at least. Um, so I'll leave you, um, yeah, all the necessary information, all the necessary information in the description below. All right, guys. So uh, lovely to see you all. Uh, hopefully see you uh, very soon uh, and take care for now.